Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren Mendez. I am WASCA's executive director. And tonight you will be hearing from our WASCA presidents. All right, good. Well, I was going to say good evening, but you may be watching this at another time in your day. So my name is Addie Whistle, and I am the current WASCA president. I'm on the east side of the state, um, and actually I'm a counselor educator in, at Gonzaga University. Um, and we're really excited to have this opportunity um, to just connect with members. And so we we hope that this is something that we will um, will offer. We'll continue to offer this in the future, but something that we hope that you'll join us in the future. So on our next slide, after our introductions, we'll show you the future dates um, for some additional opportunities to connect with us. So thanks for, for watching and for joining us. Hello, I'm uh, Melvin Fields. I'm WASCA immediate past president. Uh, I'm a middle school counselor at uh, middle, Yale Middle School uh, and also uh, an adjunct instructor at uh, St. Martin University. I'm so happy to be here. I uh, look forward to hearing from you. And I'm Denise Redinger. I am the president-elect for WASCA, also currently serving as an assistant principal at Hanford High School in the Richland School District. I look forward to spending some time with you guys. And next slide. Great. So these are the future dates. So we hope that you will mark your calendars. Obviously, today um, we're recording this on no November 1st. And then we will have a session at the WASCA conference um, in March. We'll have a, the dates laid out for you um, in a future slide, but we'll have a time where you'll be able to join us um, and connect. Um, and really a place to that will hold space to answer questions, um, navigate concerns together, brainstorm together. Um, so, um, like I said, look forward to that at the WASCA conference, and then we will do this again via Zoom, May 4th, 530 to 630. Next slide. So let's take a moment to do a land acknowledgement. And as you're reading through my land acknowledgement, I'd rather um, share with you my why on why I believe um, why I do it, the land acknowledgement besides the fact that it's the right thing to do. So I was an adopted child. I was adopted at nine and my, the father who chose me was a Cherokee, uh, part of the Cherokee nation. And my dad would be turning 89 this year. Uh, I get choked up every time I do this, so bear with me. Um, however, when my dad was a young man and, and his dad was a young man, they, young man, they were not, um, taught to be proud of their heritage. And so I knew very little about my father's uh, heritage. And um, it's just, it's a loss that our family doesn't have that, that sense of who, who we are and who my dad was. So I share for that reason, because I, I feel like it's something we need to be aware of and honor those who um, were here before us. So that's my why. And next slide. Yeah, so I want to talk about uh, how we honor uh, not only Native Americans, uh, but we are first, first peoples, but we uh, recognize humanity in all people. Uh, and as counselors, we want to make sure that we uh, support uh, individuals in our school, but we also have to support each other. So as we transition from honoring peoples, uh, and lands of that are native to America, we also want to acknowledge the pain and trauma uh, resulting from four years of uh, 400 years of systemic racism in, in the United States uh, and people of the African diaspora. So we won't, don't want to limit it to just African Americans. There are other uh, groups that have been uh, marginalized, but we got we must recognize that and uh, continue to treat people with uh, uh, equity and equality. Next slide, please. So this is our equity statement. Um, I'll give you a moment to read it. Uh, we did it, uh, we put it together uh, in the height of the civil unrest a couple of years ago. Uh, and it's in line with uh, ASCA's statement as well. So we wanna make sure that we uh, put that front and center. So you, we acknowledge that here. Next slide. Uh, one last line I want to read from this one is, uh, you know, WASCA joins the American School Council Association to bring about positive change 
and to be a part of the solution using our hearts and our hands. The Washington School Council Association stands united. Next slide. Yes. So the purpose of these office hours and this time together is really truly to hear from our WASCA community. And so to ask, are there questions that you'd like to bring to your presidents and executive director? Are there concerns? Are there issues? We really just want to see how can we support you and your work? We would love to hear from you. And so if you have anything that you would like to share with us, feel free to comment under this video as well. And WASCA will reach out to you to make sure that we are connecting about whatever it is that you would like to share with us. And I would also add to that, if there's anything that we can celebrate alongside you. So maybe you're doing something that you're really excited about. Um, I hope that you will welcome um, your colleagues in, in celebrating you and lifting you up um, in your achievements, accomplishments, big wins, little wins, all of those things along the way. So of course we have to, we wanna put in a little plug for how you can um, join us in our collective efforts here in the state. And so there's a lot of ways to be, um, be active um, as a WASCA member. And so one of the, the first things that we think about is um, you are always welcome to join our work on committees. So we have lots of different committees. And if, if anything that I say um, resonates with you, please please reach out to us um, again in the comment box below the video, but we have opportunities on our professional development committee. We have an awards committee, a conference committee, um, our ethics committee, uh, and, and a range of opportunities um, on those. And, and we are happy to talk about kind of um, time commitments and things like that, but just know that um, we're always looking for folks who want to join us in, in those, um, in that work. The next part is that we are always wanting to highlight the work of our colleagues in the state. So we are asking you, encouraging you, um, really hoping that you will nominate a colleague or yourself for one of the WASCA awards. Um, each year at our conference, we highlight um, our school counselor of the year, which we have our very own current school counselor of the year, Denise, is on the, the video with us, um, which is awesome. Um, so each year we, um, we award a school counselor of the year, and then we have a whole host of other awards. So we invite you to, um, like I said, nominate a colleague or yourself for any one of those. Um, and you will be getting information on that very soon. So, so be checking your email for that. Uh, we invite you to run for a board position. So I know it might feel like, uh, a daunting task, but I tell you that being on the board is a lot of fun. You get to work with people who are just incredible um, in their work as school counselors, but just wonderful humans. Um, so there's opportunities at each level. So we have a representative for elementary, for the middle level, for high school, and for um, post-secondary, so counselor educators. Um, and, and a variety of other positions. And we're happy again to answer questions about that, um, but also share things like um, important details and perks. So for example, we have our board meetings and they're always, um, when they're in person, they're in Seattle. And so when you're on the board, you know, you are, um, all of that is, is compensated for you. And so um, we want to make this opportunity really as accessible as possible for our folks. So we encourage you to reach out if you have questions, but um, would really encourage and invite you to join us on the board. The next part is we want you to mark your calendars for March 1st through 2nd and mark them and like highlight them in pink and circle them and put like a big star around them um, because we don't want you to miss it. Our WASCA, uh, our annual conference is a huge event. Um, and again, March 1st through the 3rd, it's always at the Doubletree SeaTac. And um, just a variety of breakout sessions, um, everything about how to support students, but also how to support us as the professionals um, and everything in between. We have some really incredible keynotes coming, including the current ASCA School Counselor of the Year. Um, so just just really, it's going to be an, an incredible um, experience and event. And I will tell you that um, as a counselor educator, I go to a lot of conferences, a lot of professional conferences, and our WASCA conference is next level on a huge scale in comparison. So you will be with seven to 800 of your colleagues um, and just enjoy that time together, learning together um, and just being with. So I hope that you will join us for that. 
Um, the next part is advocate for those ask a position statements. So, um, or using those ones. So if you are a member, um, I think actually anybody can access those on the ASCA website. Yeah. Um, there are position statements for a whole variety of, of topics. And so uh, we would just encourage and invite you to head to the ASCA website, schoolcounselor.org, um, scroll through those. And it's really a great starting point. So if you're thinking about how am I supporting or how are we supporting our students with um, learning differences, for example, you can head there and read the ask a position statement. And it might be just a really nice place to start in your um, efforts of advocacy within your building, within your teams, um, et cetera. So head there. Um, we would also encourage you to become a member of ASCA. Uh, get a lot of great access to resources um, beyond those position statements. You have the access to the journal um, and a variety of um, uh, just different resources that they have already created for us, templates and things that really you can download, adjust, and, and use them in your own program. So really a great, a great place again, um, regardless of where you are, whether you're new in the profession or you've been in the profession for a while now, just um, again, a great place, great resource. And then finally, um, the ASCA National Conference is always a great time uh, and always very hot. Uh, you can see it's in July. This summer, it will be in Atlanta, um, and we hope that you will join us there. Often, we have a couple of folks from WASCA or from Washington presenting at the conference, so it's really fun to be able to support our local colleagues, um, but to then just learn from colleagues across the state. And uh, I think also to be affirmed in what you're already already doing. Um, I always walk away thinking, oh my goodness, I'm doing that. Yay. And here are some things that I want to try to incorporate into the work that I'm doing. So um, again, just, just a plug for that conference this summer. And if you do attend, look for us because there is a state roll call. And so we'll we'll do a big Washington State shout out. So find us at the conference. Yes, yes, yes. Next slide. So as we wrap up, just some thoughts to leave you with. And how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. And last slide. So we thank you for joining us today. We look forward to having you at our president's office hours at the conference in March. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thanks much. A lot. Have a great week.